Hello and welcome to this Backwards Grapple Comics video. Today we're looking at Justice League Volume 7, uh, The Dark Side War Part 1, written by Jeff Johns with art by Jason Fabok and colours by Brad Anderson. Now this is, um, it encompasses uh, issues 40 to 41, uh, sorry, 40 to 44 of Justice League and it also has um, a special DC sneak preview of Justice League number 1. The idea of this whole um, whole series is, well, this section is the fact that we're having a a war, basically Darkseid. So Darkseid is coming up, and he's coming up against um, the Anti Monitor. Now these are two new gods going against each other in pretty much a battle to the death. Um, the thing is, is what's really interesting though is it's the instigation for the war. Now um, Darkseid, as many will know. Um, has quite a few children he's not exactly a celibate gentleman so what happens is one of his ch children um is um inst is, is the reason for, part of the reason for this war to begin now we don't know a lot about her but as you can see maybe from the first few pages that flip through she's actually an amazon now and we can see her there to the left her name's growl now she's basically the crux of this she's a complete mental warrior she has tons of powers and she can do tons of different things which makes a, a supreme um type of type of person to attack as this as obviously though there are multiple paths going through there's um uh, superman and lex Luthor in one place and um, there's the justice league in, in, in investigating uh, mysterious deaths somewhere else and you can see that all the paths will cross in the end, but at the beginning everything feels quite quite separated. But Jeff, Jeff Johns does a great job in trying to condense it into one place, just so then we can see exactly what's going on. Uh, the art by Fabok, there are some scenes in here that are absolutely amazing. Um, the, the There's a picture of a griffin, and um, I love anything to do, and this is why Wonder Woman's one of my favourite characters. Anything to do with ancient Egypt, uh, ancient Greece. Ancient Greece is always a big thing for me. So being able to see a griffin and the way that it's rendered and the way it, how good it looks is absolutely amazing. Again, this is supported by obviously the colours by Brad Anderson. But you put those two together and you mix it up and you start to get um, an amazing visual display all the way through. So the art is completely backed up with the story from Jeff Johns. Um, now, uh, yeah, we'll see. Um, there is a big part about this which is all about death and rebirth, death and rebirth. Um, and that's something obviously which is maybe coming into DC in the future in the next few months obviously we'll see how that plays out entirely but there is a big section um, of this story that that's uh, that's cons that goes into depth about what the problems are about uh, about the universe keep on coming back what um, John's does quite well is he brings in things even if it's just a page or a panel but everywhere from um, um, infinite crisis to uh, a flashpoint all those things that are going on in this universe because the way that he the way that he moves it and again that just shows the fact that he completely gets continuity and he brings it into one um you've got let's say off world um on planet you've got battles you've got um a narrative going through from wonder woman and um changes to batman um and all these sort of things will come together but it's the it's the play between the characters the little snarky comments but also just the way that they fight together that just shows again that johns has, has a handle on justice league you don't have to read before you have to have a basic knowledge of most of the stuff that's gone dc universe but you don't really need in-depth knowledge but i think this is um a great place to go for two, if that makes sense. It's probably a great place to start from what's going to continue, hopefully, um, coming up in the future for DC. But for me, I think this is one. This is definitely one of the best graphic novels around. Um, oh, volumes, graphic novels, which way you want to put it. You can use it as a graphic novel if you want to. But it's definitely one of the best series around. And I think this you know, is right up there with DC's biggest, biggest, um, biggest properties. So definitely worth a look if you can. Do, so thank you very much for watching. Do take care. If you've uh, got any comments, don't forget to leave them below. Um, if not, um, take care and good night.